What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, we're gonna go over the eight biggest eBay store problems and how to fix them fast in 2022. Please smash the like button and consider subscribing. We'll see you guys inside. So I need your help in this video. Let me know in the comment section below which of these eight problems pertains to you the most. This is gonna end up being a series where I go in depth on every single topic. But number one, the most common problem is finding the right items to sell. So the short answer in the how to solve that problem is to sell the same types of items over and over and over again. And over time, sourcing means going to where the items come from. So all the way to the manufacturer, if you wanted to sell Nike, there are proven ways to get a distribution license with Nike. That's what the short answer is to going Sourcing is just looking for where the source is. Where did they come from? So that's the short answer. I'm gonna do a longer series on how to find products at home, in the wild, and from the manufacturer. Those are more in-depth topics, which is what this series is all about. So again, number one is finding the most profitable products. Getting that in your store is the main key for how an eBay store works. Number two is your account health. So just because you have awesome items in your store doesn't mean that eBay or any other platform is gonna give you the traffic. You have to have really good account health. And what that means is you are really good at customer service. So the short answer to being really good at customer service and having a really good account is making sure you answer questions immediately. And anytime a customer has a problem with an order, you're quick about returns, you're quick about cases, you handle things quickly and efficiently and every single day. I actually recommend if you're gonna be in e-commerce, you're going to want to check up with customers at least twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening to make sure all their issues are handled. So that's the short answer, but obviously answering all the customers' issues can be something that is a more detailed guide, which we'll go, to, go through in the, in the future. Number three is picking items and having an inventory system. So a lot of people spend a lot of time digging through bins to find items that they sold and wasting a lot of time also when they can't find items. So the short answer to having an inventory system that's easy is having things that are all the same and having your inventory system be uniform and have it be bigger than the number of items that you sell. So my inventory system is unlimited. It goes to infinity as far as the number of items in it. You need to look at your space. And one of the reasons why I like being in a storage unit is I can just just pick up another unit in the same storage facility if I decide to grow because it's modular. So I can just keep adding on units as my store grows and that makes it easy for me to not spend too much on a space that I don't necessarily need. But everyone starts out with this type of system where things are just randomly in a bin and make sure that you keep the bin at least 50% empty so it's easy to look through because this is way too full. Finding something on the bottom is going to be very difficult and I may not even find it digging through it and having that defect against your account is part of problem number two not being able to find an item if you do that enough times you're going to get suspended on any platform that you sell on so again number three is developing an inventory system the uniform easy answer is just having things that are all the same size Number four is just how long it takes people to pack items after they've sold. So if you sell random items like this, you're gonna need basically boxes of all different sizes, all different shapes. You're gonna need what's called dunnage, which is what they use to protect items. That could be bubble wrap, that could be peanuts, that could be packing paper. So if you sell in too many categories, you're gonna need to know all of those different shipping nuances and that takes a really long time. So in the morning call this morning, a lady Crystal was saying that it took her three and a half hours to pack and ship 15 items those same 15 items for me would have only taken 15 minutes so i would have had a three hours and 15 minute advantage over her because all of my items are uniform and similar a lot of people think that i purposely pick items that i like but i don't i actually pick items that are easy to sell so this is an important thing to understand as much as i like treasure hunting and finding a really cool item i need to make sure that it's easy for me to ship and i have all the materials and all the dunnage available so one of the reasons why this is so easy to help your store or improve is because you cut back a lot of the time when you sell similar items because you need less materials you need less space for those materials you need less space to store the items so even if you sold something bulky like vcrs or dvd players if you only sold that you would have a uniform system for that. So the packing and shipping supplies, make sure you time yourself and figure out how long on average it's taking you to do that. And that'll help you identify if that's something you should spend your attention on first. 
So number five is making sure that you print labels quickly. So I recommend having any kind of printer that can print labels on a sticky label is gonna really help because you can just peel it off and put it on your, on your item. So for me, printing a label, this process only takes about 20 seconds. So a lot of people spend a lot of time entering in the dimensions and the weight, but for me, I enter in the dimensions and weight while I'm shipping because the label takes a few seconds to generate. So during that time, I have time to weigh the item on a scale. I have all my scales available. And I also recommend that you guys use an AC adapter for your scale. So you don't waste time trying to chase down batteries when you really need your scale to work. So pre-entering in your weight and dimensions can slow people down, especially since some orders may have multiple orders in the same order. So I recommend that you figure out your shipping label system because for me, taking only 20 seconds, it saves me a lot of time. If this takes you five minutes to print every single label, you're already behind. So make sure that you have a really efficient system for this. Number six is having a photography process that takes way too long. So I think that the maximum time it should take you to take a set of photos, which is between 10 and 12 photos, I recommend doing at least 10. 10 to 12 photos should be three minutes. So if your process is longer than three minutes, then join our Patreon group at patreon.com slash a resource podcast and let us know what your setup looks like and what your process is. We should be able to get your process down honestly to under one minute, but I don't want people to take longer than three minutes. So three minutes is the maximum time it should take to do one set of photos and that's 20 per hour. Problem number seven is having an inefficient listing process. So when you sit down at a computer and you're ready to list, you can actually Google how to list on eBay and eBay has a guide and it's pretty straightforward. It just comes down to three things, your item title, your item description, and your item specifics. So those are the three things that you need to focus on when you're listing. The maximum amount of time it should take you to list an item is six minutes. That's if you're going really slow, painstakingly looking the item up on Google, doing some research, finding what similar ones sold for. If it takes longer than six minutes, again, tag me and let me know what it is that you're doing and we can start eliminating steps because listing should take a maximum of six minutes. Number eight, the last problem is having an inefficient process of going to the post office. So for me, I actually have daily scheduled pickups, so they come here. Most people are afraid to set that up, but if you just call the post office at 1-800-ASK-USPS or go to USPS.com, you can create an account for free and just order a post office pickup. So I recommend you become friendly with your post office carrier and get them to physically scan the items upon delivery. You might have to grease the wheel and give them a $20 gift card to Starbucks. You might have to be nice, give them give them a Gatorade or a water. When they come in, that's from my, my friend Tekken Sports who recommends that you hit them up with a bottled water every single day because they're doing you a solid by scanning the item. So remember, if you use the scan form, it doesn't count as an acceptance scan from eBay. And this goes back to step number two. If your items aren't scanned on time, your account health will fall below below average and that will prevent you from getting the best traffic rankings. So I recommend you get this process down pat, get them to come to you. So just to recap, there are eight major problems with running an eBay store. So let me know in the comment section below which one you struggle with the most. Is it sourcing? Is it customer service and making sure your account is really healthy? Is it picking inventory and creating a uniform system? Is it shipping? Do you not understand all the different ways to ship items and what different packing materials that you need? Is it the physical packing and picking as far as making the box? Is it photography? Is your setup inefficient? Or is it listing and research and figuring out what the price your items are? And then finally, is it just going to the post office or scheduling one of those people or the, the post office carrier to come to your house and pick it up? So let me know if you need more help. Again, join my Patreon group, patreon.com slash a resource podcast. We're happy to help you. And again, these eight simple steps, once you fix them, it'll really help your store. And I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on all eight of them in this series.